Who can view Queen Elizabeth's private papers? A palace advisor is reportedly sorting through the late monarch's personal documents. Queen Elizabeth kept a diary, but it is unclear if and when it will be made public. It was a curiosity that had surrounded Queen Elizabeth for a long time, what did the enigmatic and extraordinarily discreet monarch really think about anything? Knowing that she kept a diary raises the question of what might be recorded there. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. So there has been some interest and even recent trepidation on the part of some historians after a report emerged that a palace aide had been tasked with combing through the late Queen's diaries and personal papers, with an eye to what could be archived and what could be archived. Remain confidential. One would think that the royal family would rely on the professional discretion of an archivist to do this, but that is clearly not the case. They are very concerned about it, Philip Murphy, Director of History and Politics at the University of London's Institute of Historical Research, said in an interview. I think historians are concerned about someone who is not a qualified archivist looking at these papers because, there is a history of members of the royal family destroying papers. Queen Victoria, who died in 1901, kept a detailed diary. His youngest daughter, Princess Beatrice, copied or rewrote the diary, and the originals were burned. There is of course the argument that Queen Elizabeth and members of the royal family have a right to privacy like any other human being. However, it can become difficult to determine where a monarch's privacy might begin or end. I think there needs to be a distinction between their personal lives and their political roles, Murphy said. But again, in terms of the monarchy, the personal is to some extent political, and I think it becomes a matter of public interest when prime ministers are called upon to deal with the consequences just as John Major did in the 1990s vis-à-vis -vis of the Prince of the Welsh divorce, as was Tony Blair when Diana died and the palace did not seem to react very nimbly in response. The royal archives are housed in the Round Tower of Windsor Castle. While the royal household is exempt from freedom of information obligations, it is committed to transparency and making information available where appropriate, the royal family's website reads. Ideally, Murphy suggested, there would be a gradual opening of Elizabeth's papers over time, greater transparency from the royal archives about what they contain than is currently the case with such documents and a coherent set of principles for the handling of records relating to the Commonwealth realms. It is important, not only from the point of view of historians but also from the point of view of the political actors themselves, including the palace that we have a good political history of the functioning of the constitutional monarchy in modern times, which is essentially in the Queen's reign speech.